Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make my beef stew. Um, I personally make mine in a pressure cooker. You can do yours in a slow cooker or however you want. Um, but if you're going to use a pressure cooker, I put it on brown first. Put some olive oil. I got my stew meat in here. Got a pound of stew meat. You're also going to need some red wine. This is just cheap red wine from Walmart, and you'll do. Um, some brown gravy mix, onion, carrot, and potato, and then you're going to have salt and pepper and minced garlic. So first I'm going to finish browning my meat, and then I'm going to take it out um, as soon as it's brown. You don't want to cook it all the way because then it'll be tough once you put it in the pressure cooker um, cycle. So I'll do that and I'll show you what it looks like when I get my other veggies in there. After you take out your meat, I switch it to saute, and I've got my whole, oops, sorry, it's fogging. Unfog. There you go. Um, that whole, looks like a medium-sized onion, and some garlic in there, and I'm just going to let this brown. Can you see it? Yum. Okay, this step is totally optional. Once the um, onions are just about cooked, I'm going to add, add a half stick of butter and let that mix in there. And I'm also going to add some salt and pepper. Okay, when all that's all nice and mixed together and your onions start to get translucent, then take um, about a cup of red wine to deglaze the pan. I only have about three quarters of a cup because that bottle was almost gone, but normally I would add it around a cup and then you don't want to rush this you just want to let it just reduce and get nice and flavorful what do you think my little helper okay after it's reduced add your veggies I'm using potatoes and carrots you can use celery just kinda whatever you want to put in your stew and go ahead and add it Okay, I added about three medium-sized potatoes. I normally use red potatoes, but um, they just didn't look that good this week. So I just got some regular and about three quarters of a pound of carrots because I really love the carrots. And I'm just mixing it all in, trying to get all that yumminess all over my veggies. And I'll probably do this and stir it for uh, about five minutes or so. Okay, now while my veggies are finishing up in here, I like to get a cup of water um, for my gravy mix and just go ahead and mix it up separately in a little cup. Mix it up and then you're going to pour it into here with an additional cup of water. Okay, here it is all added in with the gravy mix and the additional cup of water. Now you're going to add your stew meat back in that's not cooked all the way. Stir it in. doesn't have to be perfect. Sorry, my camera cut off. So after you have all your ingredients added in here, make sure that your valve is on the pressure because I've made that mistake before and it didn't pressure. Um, it didn't build pressure. And then put it on high pressure for 12 minutes. Voila, that's it. And now you can, for me, I'm going to make dinner rolls and put my son to bed. And you just do whatever you want. Um, it's going to take a couple minutes to build the pressure to start cooking um, but really you're going to be done and eating dinner within about 20 minutes or so